Yellowknife 2007. A commander here working on a complex drug investigation listened in on some troubling wiretap recordings. I overheard conversations between two of our targets talking about possible corruption within the RCMP. For Jeff Greenwood, now a 28-year veteran, that was the moment his troubles on the job began. Several members in the division I was in was um, trading information for money, information relating to undercover operators, information relating to um, ongoing criminal investigations, uh, even to the point where one of them said that he was offering to destroy evidence in relation to his matter for a sum of money. But when he reported it to senior managers, he says he was ordered to drop it, removed from his post and ostracized. So basically everything I had ever believed in the RCMP was kind of destroyed and uh, I was made to be the problem. I was made to be the, the bad guy in this whole situation. Greenwood is now the lead plaintiff in a massive new lawsuit claiming widespread harassment, a $1.1 billion class action on behalf of thousands of RCMP men and women, officers and civilians dating back decades. Realistically, we're looking at class members numbering in the tens of thousands. It's really a unique problem within the RCMP as compo compared to other police forces. The allegations have yet to be tested in court, but this suit argues the RCMP has already admitted a problem. I stand humbly before you today and solemnly offer our sincere apology. Two years ago, the commissioner settled a sexual harassment case. He also acknowledged problems in the force extended far beyond. It's the culture of uh, bullying and intimidation and, uh, and general harassment, which I think needs everybody's focus and attention. The RCMP today said it's reviewing this latest lawsuit. This assistant commissioner says the force has hired new staff, is doing training on diversity and leadership, and is trying to fix the problems. Anything that is systemic is a very challenging endeavor. One of the things that's important is that we aren't going to just treat this as a tick box exercise. This is something that we are going to remain committed to. The Minister of Public Safety, Ralph Goodale, declined our request for an interview but today issued a statement saying harassment has no place in a modern RCMP, that the new commissioner, Brenda Lucky, appointed this spring, has been tasked to fix whatever's wrong. Dave Seglin, CBC News, Toronto.